Ben Gregg and the Gonzaga Bulldogs here in Spokane. Gonzaga and St. Mary's, we are underway. And it'll be the Zag, who's been on a scoring surge, matched up against Mitchell Saxon, and hits his first shot of the night. Best rebounding teams in the country by every single measure that you could look at. Saxon drives, got knocked, finally does find Dukas for three, in and out, no good. Gonzaga to create separation. Hickman to Ike. First five of the game for Gonzaga. Marshallonis, Mahaney in the corner. That three no good. Fifth in the nation in offensive rebounding percentage. They do it. Ben Hart. Ben Gregg likes to shoot the three. I don't know about that one. No man's land. He's going to throw it up, and Ike is going to be able to finish. Jefferson with the drive again. That Randy Bennett talked about at shoot around is you've got to have some composure. They need that composure. Intensity. E.K. was just looking to drive, came up. Guys, when we leave, our hands have to be up, and Nemhard did a great job defensively and almost came up with the big shot. Against Watson, Watson already has a foul. Marcellona shoots the three, no good. Randy didn't have that much time over there. Uh, Harry Wessels is in, and E.K. goes right around him in the school. clock down to five. Marcellona went right by Stromer, dishes to Jefferson, who scores with a foul. EK, every once in a while, he'll shoot one from out there. I think, but that's think one St. Mahaney needs to get going. He has been in a cold streak as of late, and he needs to find his shot. And that one wasn't close. Not close. Give yourself a chance to find a way to win on the road. And for Mahaney, part of that job, Hickman rolls it. You have to make shots to win basketball games. It was one of my better points this year, I thought. Josh Jefferson hits the jumper, and he... That's a travel. That was. Anton Watson got away with one, and now they call Jefferson for the reach in. In the game, after sitting on the bench early, they got a good switch on him. He's just got to go up with it. He does, and he scores. Up like he did on that possession. Stromer down the lane. Dusty Stromer shot rejected. St. Mary's. I like the fact that he's in the game right now because St. Mary's has been pretty flat, and Barrett is a guy that can provide some energy and a little bit of toughness. Anton Watson's trying to communicate with him, and there's no communication. That left that three. Mahaney corner to rebound Jefferson. Couldn't go back up with it, so he finds Mahaney, who hits this one. Now, great big-time rebound by Jefferson. Now the steal. Marshallonis goes coast to coast, lays it in. Trying to find Saxon. Nice catch, Saxon. Saxon isn't really getting back, and it's allowing EK to get the position he wants. Nemhar just kept tournaments this year. Randy Bennett year after year has had the Gales in consideration in the postseason. How about a time? Ben Craig back in with two fouls. Buries the three. Watson working against Jefferson. That's a really good matchup. Craig got a hand on the rebound and Watson throws it down. Mahaney shot clock at three at two. High Archie three. No good. And Craig links so he gave it up. At times, his base is too narrow. It was there. Lucky. That's a great player, and Augustus Marcellonis is turning into a great player in his own right. But he let Nemar go right by. Braden Huff in the game. Mahaney goes right by him. Switch to the left hand. Saxon puts it in. Mitchell Saxon. And Mahaney. Give Mahaney some credit there for the aggressive move to set up that board. Nice touch pass. Huff scores. Dumps it down again with the left hand. So effective since he's come back on the court. Nemhard pull up. Good. Dukas then found Jefferson. Mahaney open three. That's his third of the first half. If Mahaney doesn't show up and compete tonight. Wow, Nemhard behind the back. Ross then actually stripped it. it get into different locations and just try to be close enough that they can get there. Nemhard tough shot again. Nolan Hickman flipped it up, no good. Ball tipped. Jefferson, nice move on EK. Jefferson again going to work. Very patient. Came up short though. Got a 17 second difference. Hickman runner, good. Soft touch. San Francisco. USF, yeah, I mean, it would really open things up for the Gales with a win, but good job by Hickman. Jefferson went baseline and scores with the left hand. Anton Watson, who's got the ball here, is a great defensive player. Makes a spin move. 
And their offense, because the Zags are dropping into that press on main field goals. Good cut. What a pass by Dukas and a great Jefferson right now. He's kind of acting like a bully. Like he knows he can get close to the basket. Scores. Single point here in the second half for the Gales. Hickman with the left hand, no. And Jefferson. EK, quick start, mostly quiet since then. Greg, offensive rebound, and puts it back. Greg and Tully can talk about where teams are at. Both these teams are NCAA tournament teams. They're going to call a foul on the floor for the Gales. Nebhardt shoots the three. Good! Saxon against Watson, and no good. Fade to win. In and out. EK, what a rebound. Had it poked away, but they call a foul. The Saxon, not been a, as effective here, and Nemard goes coast to coast, missed it. Chance for St. Mary's to run. Mahaney trailing three, good. How about that? It's the aid Mahaney we saw so many times last year as a freshman. EK on this end. I mean, Anton Watson drop off a of Marshall Onis. Marshall Onis, the spin move, got it to go. They didn't. Gonzaga two point lead with the ball. Hickman slipped, got his balance. Watson, 15. 11th most minutes played by a starting group in all of college basketball this season. And then gets back out there. Wessels in for Saxon. Marshall Onis attacks on Ike, scooped it up. You cannot stay down. You have to get up. Mahaney in traffic. No good. Man, they're. Oh, but in the second half in particular, Gonzaga. Well, Jefferson, they just left him wide open. Two is reaching down to his lower right leg. Nemhard wrapped it up, draws the foul. Point lead, Gonzaga, St. Mary's ball. Both teams were looking a little fatigued before that last timeout. Tough! And focused on finishing, not focused on getting the foul. They've really just decided to let these players play. Nemhard at Jefferson almost lost the bounds. Josh Jefferson, nice little shot fake, but then... Or too wide. He, he's just got to keep it strong underneath. This time, good balance and a finish. Heat. What a steal by Marshall Onis. And now the lead to Mahaney, two on one. Mahaney with the left hand. Foul already up. Mahaney's already out of bounds. At the game for Aiden Mahaney, and he's primarily done his work on the outside, but tonight he's been much more assertive. Shot clock winding down. Nemhard gets one up. No good. It was a straight line pass that was right waist level. Easy for EK to get his hands to deflect that one away. Watson, quick move to the baseline. Jefferson. Tough runner for Nemhard. Got knocked just enough. Has not scored in this game. Marshallonis, no! A lot of pressure free throws in that one. Makes them both here. Nice. Off the inbound, Mahaney. This is a good matchup for Saxon, you figure, with the left hand, he scores off the glass. Defensively here tonight, too, on Nolan Hickman. Lost him that time. Hickman drives against him, missed the shot, another. Huff shoots the three, in and out, almost went. Mahaney draws the contact, scores. What? Greg didn't shoot the three, shot clock down to five. Hickman crossover, no good. Jefferson, goodbye. But both of these teams feel like they're NCAA tournament teams. They're competing for first place. Jefferson three. Taking a lot of time. Greg, three. No good. He knew he missed it. Followed his own miss. And that's from here. Mahaney on Ike. Ike did a good job, but he dumps it down to Saxon. The ball. Yeah. Nemhart just continuing to attack. Mahaney tries to save it. Does. Marshallonis, three. Good! Hickman, Mahaney, more good defense by him. Anton Watson elevates for the three. Got it! If they take the clock all the way down, Mahaney stops. 
Mahaney shoots, no good, and a foul is midcourt. Hickman will heave it up, no good. Watson puts it in, count that basket. It's to the floor by the student section. It does not take away, though. St. Mary's is undefeated in the